When you flush the toilet, have you ever wondered, where's your poop go? Here in America, we have what I like to call the flushing toilet syndrome. But whatever you flush magically disappears. I know it has to go somewhere. I have this idea that it goes to these big processing plants where it's mixed with these chemicals and dumped into oceans and creeks. But there has to be some good alternative. While I was in Mexico recently with my high school program, we stayed at a camp on San Ignacio Lagoon where everything had to be trucked in, including water. I talked to the director of this camp and he explained to me how the resources are scarce in Baja California and how they try to find a use for everything that we consider waste. Uh, glass bottles and cans and everything that it's considered trash for a lot of people, for us it's just building materials. It's very precious material that we can build structures, we can build houses, we can build um, anything we want out of them. Um, so obviously water is not very prominent here um, and I noticed that you guys are really into conserving your water Yes. Uh, and I noticed also that one of the ways that that can be done is by using the composting toilets. Absolutely. Uh, what's the whole system that that goes to? Um, what we are using right now with composting toilets it's sawdust. Okay. Anytime we use the toilet there's a big a scoop of uh, so that's going on top and then it goes to a deposit later on eight months to a year most of it is decomposed already and it's ready to use in gardens it's easy as that once back in california i was curious to see what actually does happen to my poop so i set up an interview with mike bussey from the local water treatment facility what exactly happens from when I flush a toilet to get in here? Uh, the drain system all goes into a sewer uh, drain system mm -hmm. that comes through different uh, routes of travel to interceptors and finally converges uh, at the headworks of the plant. The water then uh, passes from the primary uh, clarifier down to the secondary process where uh, a ration basin uh, allows the uh, bugs that will do the biological stabilization of the uh, treatment from the secondary clarifiers. It goes through filters to remove turbidity and then is disinfected by our UV system and then back to the creek. Basically biosolids that gets hauled off and applied to secondary uh, crop uh, land application. Oh really? For feeder crops, corn oh. and things like that for, for livestock. So it still all gets used. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Even though this process is fairly sanitary, it uses an average of 2 million gallons of water a day. California being a place of frequent water shortage, and a time when farmers are getting only a percentage of the water that they need, I looked for a more sustainable solution. A woman in my local area named Mondi has been using a composting toilet and harvesting the humanure to fertilize her fruit trees and using a gray water system to recycle the water that goes down her drain. So, do you guys only uh, use your composting toilet? Do you have a regular? No, we don't have a regular. Um, we, didn't, we don't purposely because of the water issue. Um, when you mix your poop with water, it's kind of gross. It's kind of like a microbiotic germ poop soup. Yeah. And yeah, I'd rather do other things with our water. I'd rather water our plants, water our garden. So this is what we do. And it also seems like a wasted resource to be mixing your poop with water to me. So this one's already full. That, that's the top right there? That's the top. Wow. Leaves. <laughs> it looks like it, it's pretty cozy. You got a nice view. Yeah. You're not locked inside. <laughs> so it looks like dirt. They leave it go. Um, and I want you yeah. to come and actually, what I'm gonna, I want you to stick your nose down there and smell it. Okay. Can I just grab some? You can touch it. it. Yeah. I'm not. How's it smell? Like dirt. Like dirt. It smells just like dirt. Mike and Mondi express concerns for the sustainability of our water use habits. And they both also agreed that composting toilets will be on the rise soon, along with the use of household gray water systems. Our, you know, we're just all part of the planet. We need to take care of it for ourselves and future generations. 
I think <laughs> since I was about this that. size, I've been thinking that um, water is something that people are going to really, really appreciate one day. It is now obvious that your poop doesn't just disappear with a simple flush. A lot of water and energy is used in the conventional system. We can all do our part to help conserve our resources. This is Genesis Nepal signing off. Remember, poop smart.